Thank you for joining me for another video. I'm going to show you how to make these today. Super, super simple. And then I use them to store um, brads or small tags or anything. In it. And then it works really well to just hang on a pegboard or um, I have a just a rod that I hang them on with my ribbons. Okay. So to get started, we're going to need um, six of these little bags. I put six on one ring. You could, you know, do whatever you wanted, but I put six on one. The bags are um, two by three, okay? So your first step then is to pick your paper, and you're going to cut it in one inch strips up, okay? And then, depending on how many you're going to make for each bag, then you're going to need two, or you're going to need six two inch pieces from the one inch strip, okay? So we're going to go ahead and start with that then. So, once you have all six of your little pieces, okay, you're going to start off by just taking them and folding them in half the long way. Like so. Crease them up good. Okay. So that you're left with about half the, the length wise. Okay. Once you have that, comes the next step. This is the most time consuming part of this whole project. All you have to do, run a strip of tape along each long side. Okay. Then take it and fold it a little bit so that you can see where the fold line is and then you're going to stick your baggie in there and close it over it okay one more time open up your piece of paper apply your adhesive to both long edges then pick it up slightly fold it so that you can see where the crease is take your bag and Stick it in there, making sure that it is in there correctly, and then seal it. Okay, we do this six times, like so. Take your bag and seal it closed. Once you're done it six times, then you're going to take and just really make sure that the tape is stuck down good. I just like to run my folder over it really well, okay? And then you're going to take your hole punch and punch a hole um, about in the top corner, or, you know, somewhere in the corner there. It doesn't need to be any place perfect. And then take your other one, line it up and punch it so that you have it in the same spot. Okay, and then take your next one. And punch it. Okay, you're gonna do that until you have them all punched. Okay. Now the one that I had, I had six of them on. So we have six pieces. I, I only have three right now, but I'll do more later. Okay. Then take your ring, which should open nice and easy. I get these at um, Target for a couple of bucks a piece and I get the bags at Michael's for very little money. So, and you can make a lot of these with one sheet of paper so you can make them all match if you want to. Okay, anyways, once you're done with that, then um, you can see on mine I put a little tag and on the tag I would write what is in it so that when this is all hanging, all I have to do is look at the tag and I can see what's in it. But I wanted to make my tag match a little bit, so I'm going to take this extra little piece of scrap paper and just stick it on the end there. And then I'm going to cut it off, much like Okay, 
and then just because I'm picky and I know that my cutting needs